crafty friends Carrie here we're going to be making altered playing cards today so you will need just some regular playing cards you can get the cheap ones from the Dollar Tree if you want now I am making these for a swap and I have two partners so I need 20 cards because I need to send 10 to each one so I'm going to start with some tissue paper from a pattern and um, some decoupage medium and I just put it onto the one side of the card and I start sticking the cards down. And then I'm going to add tissue paper to the back side of the playing cards. This isn't necessary. I like to do it because I like to then either use some gesso or some uh, white paint to make it where you could write on the back of the card like a journaling card if you wanted to use it that way. So I'm just going to continue on here till I have the front and the backs of all of the cards um, coated with the tissue paper. Once you have the pattern paper on both sides and you've let it dry for a, a little while, start cutting the cards apart. And then I take the scissors and I trim as close to the edge as I can get, um, being careful not to cut the card. And as I was going along, I check and if there's any spots that didn't get stuck down well, I add in some more medium and stick it back down and set the cards off to the side. So the next step for me is to either use gesso or uh, paint. And in this case, I'm using white paint. And I just put it on, I use my finger, you can use whatever. And as I put it on with my finger, I then take a baby wipe because I don't want it to obscure the back of the card. I want um, you to still know that these are playing cards when I'm done. But a little bit of white paint or gesso on top of the tissue paper gives you a surface that you can write on if you choose to use these for like journaling cards. Okay, the next step for me is to start adding some color. And I'm going to use some pinks and purples. And I'm using Distress Ink. You could use paint or anything that you want. And oftentimes I do use paint. But I'm just taking some Distress Ink right now and just splotching it around. I'm not trying to cover the entire card. I'm just putting on a little bit of color here and there. Okay, the next step for me is to start layering on some texture. And to do this, I use 
scrap paper um, or pieces of crepe paper or other little things. I do sometimes distress the edges of the paper. Now, unfortunately, my camera went out <laughs> just when I was getting started on this step. So you don't really see me doing it. Um, very shortly, you're going to see me have a bunch of cards that already have everything added. Now, I also um, use some napkin scraps, um, which in other videos you've seen me decoupage with napkins. And I just tore little pieces of napkin and added it on. And that kind of uh, takes care of the next step. Okay, so now I am going to take some Glimmer Mist and I'm going to start adding some interest. I'm going to use some stencils in Glimmer Mist. Um, I have chosen chosen um, a pink, one is called Poodle Pink, and then the orange one is Shockingly Orange. And I'm just going to use some stencils and take my mist and spray it on. And then I blot it up with a napkin. Um, and this is just is going to give a little bit of color, a little bit of interest. When I'm making things like altered playing cards or artist trading coins or artist trading cards and things like that, layering is very important to me. To me, it's what gives the item interest. Okay, now that I have added Glimmer Mist to all of the cards, I'm going to start my embellishment. I'm going to be adding uh, rhinestones, pearls, flowers, butterflies, whatever strikes my fancy. And I try to vary it. I want the cards to have some similarity, but I want each one to be a unique piece. So I just kind of add little things here and there on each of the cards. So now that I have finished adding in 
my bling and sparkle using rhinestones and pearls and stickles type glitter gels and stuff. Now what I'm going to do is add words. I have a lot of word stickers and phrase stickers. This is something that I like. I am a big proponent of things that are like little positive messages um, to look at and to see. And so that's, I on almost all of my artist trading cards and um, coins and all of that, I almost always have some type of phrasing. Sometimes I use an entire phrase sticker. Sometimes I cut them apart, piece them together to make them say what I want. But this is something that I enjoy adding in. Okay, and for the final touches, I am taking this gold calligraphy pen and just pulling it right along the edge of the card to make a little rim. And now I'm just showing you each of the completed cards. To me, it's the little details like finishing it off with the gold ink or adding the words. Those are the things to me that make these cards unique and kind of speak to my artist side. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you will give this project a try. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you click the bell, you'll get notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful crafty day.